Alrighty, so you are looking at setting up a map for your virtual tabletop game on Foundry and you want to do multiple levels but you want to do it differently. Hey everyone, I'm Hayden the Eighth, and this is going to be another D&D tutorial. This time we're going to be looking at how to set up seamless transitions between different maps that are doing different levels. So we have this wonderful map that was sent in, and it is a mess. Even they named the file type the Labyrinth of Stairs. Now the first step was to try and work out the overall dimensions, and then to see which parts of this isometric mess are on which level. Uh, that took me some time, especially working out how far away certain rooms are from other rooms, as the uh, person who initially sent it to me did hel helpfully note some stairs are a little steeper than others. And that kind of second opinion on it definitely helped me make some progress on this. Next, we have to make the map. And so I'm going to be using Dungeon Draft. You can use whatever you want. Uh, this is how I'm going to go about doing it. So, the next couple of minutes are going to be this map being made. If you're interested in just skipping ahead to the how to set this up, in case you want to do it for your own map or you're not interested in the build, you can find the map files that I'm creating in the video description. There's a Google share folder. Uh, you can just grab them from there if you want to use them. All right, I've just realized that I forgot to mention earlier that if you are looking to just skip ahead, I've got the link up here to the next part of this video when it's released, probably a couple of days, and that will show you how to set up the module. But for the time being, the rest of this video, based on how long it's taken me, uh, it is going to be this map being made and me exporting some of those items and getting them into the Google Drive. So, I hope you enjoy the rest of this video. It's going to be a nice music montage build, similar to what I was thinking about doing, so this is kind of a trial test for me on that front. But if you are enjoying this video or you want to see more stuff, let me know what you'd like to see. Comment down below, like, share, sub if you're feeling like it. Let me know what would earn that sub from you. And of course, if you are interested, I do stream on Twitch. I've had a recent hiatus, similar to how my YouTube, I've been saying I'll do stuff and I haven't. Lockdown's been hard. It is over, more or less. So, if you want to catch me on Twitch, same name, Hayden B-I-I-I, -I -I, Hayden A. And we do gaming streams, I'm looking at doing some more exercise streams, you know, if I die a couple of times in a game, every death I gotta do push-ups, you know, stuff like that, come along, challenge me, choose my exercise, all that jazz. I try and get enough people to join in with the exercise as well, so it really becomes a group thing, and it's wonderful. Uh, we're looking at doing some cooking streams in the future, and even some crafting streams, so exciting stuff coming in the future, a couple of weeks maybe, but... Come along, get followed, and stay up to date. Anyway, let's get building.
See, now this right here is problematic because I would like to give it the two wide set of stairs I've been using. These. However, they both clip onto this stairway, or rather corridor, vertical axis here. And uh, the fact this corridor is here is taking away from your ability to see down the stairs anyway. So I'm just chucking in the single tile of stair. And we're going to have to deal with that, I guess. I know that here I have the opportunity to do what I believe to be correct for the map, which would be to have the double staircase, because I don't have that intersection above blocking view. However, these two assets, I'm almost certain you'd be able to tell the difference, or I'm sure someone with a slightly better eye can do it. If they were to be, you know, cyber, like you can see the stairs are not quite aligned and such. So I don't want someone to come down the stairs from the level above, because in our eventuality, they're going to seamlessly transition on their end between the two levels, and I don't want them to be thrown by the fact that the stairs have changed texture, quality, etc.
Okay. Okay. We have our entrance. We have our exit. And we have every floor in between. Holy... That was an epic. Okie dokie. For the moment, this is going to be more than fine for what we need. Which is going to be showing how to set this up in Foundry. To have those seamless transitions. And someone can see from the top of a staircase. Down to the bottom. Like, uh, like right here. They're the wrong stairs. Ah, 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 ah. There we go. Simple fix. Yep. <laughs> there was never a problem. <laughs> Perfect. Now that that's saved, we're going to go ahead and export. We're going to turn off the grid. We're going to turn off the lighting, because there is none. And we're going to export as a universal BTT. Now, we have level minus one, one, two, three, four, five. Yes, we're going to have to do this a couple of times. <laughs> All right, <laughs> that was a fair build. So I appreciate you sticking with me. The second part of this is where we are going to be setting it up in Foundry and making sure that when somebody looks down a set of stairs, if there was to be someone standing at the bottom, which would be on a new map, they would see it from one map to the next and vice versa. That's what we're setting up here. And so if you wanna see that, click up here or it'll be on screen in just a few. But I hope you really did enjoy. Like, subscribe, comment. Come follow me on Twitch, Hayden, V-I-I-I, Hayden the Eighth. Any constructive criticism, please send it my way. Any ideas you'd like to see, send them. So I'm planning on setting out 10 maps, battle maps, in a sense. And we're going to sit down, we're gonna have five minute video and it's gonna be crafting one of the battle maps. And I'll have a small script or whatever, a description of the territory, maybe a, an idea to spark someone's imagination so they can use it for themselves. But I'm going to loosely connect these 10 battle maps and I hope someone can have some fun with them. I'm not playing a lot of D&D these days, but that hasn't stopped the little creative earworm. So check, keep an eye out for those, subscribe to keep up to date, and I will see you on the setup video.